Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be game two between Jedi One and Tucson. Tucson taking the first match between them. This is BSL season 14. Round of eight of Hasu League. Jedi One starting the upper left hand corner as the Peach Protoss. Bottom right hand corner, we have Tucson starting as the Red Terran, and this is on Good Night. And I feel like so Tucson taking game one, and it really highlighted why I favored him in this matchup overall, which is he's got the creativity, he can do the adjustments. I like that he grabbed that third command center and had a solid defense of it as well. There, it, I feel like there was an opening there for Jedi One to maybe capitalize, but Tucson with a solid defense and just snowballing from there. <clears throat> Tucson's macro seems to be very, very solid. Keeps on top of those upgrades as well. The one thing for Jedi One is that that is how I've seen him play this matchup previously, which is to try to get that economic lead, and they'll go for Gateway Man. Previous match just didn't happen. And I think if he continues to do that and doesn't filter in with either Arbiter Tech, Sufficient Shuttles, or High Templar, I'm expecting similar results. So we'll see if he adjusts his play. This is going to be on Good Night this time. Macro map both directions. No front door seal. It looks like a barracks just alongside. No 12 Nexus from Jedi One. It is not yet, so it looks like I think this is just going to be one gate into expand. Try to play it safe and steady from there. Refinery being grabbed from Tucson, opposite corner. Has not yet sent out an SCV scout. I believe this is the SCV scout. Either way, he's going to end up scouting, unless he goes for a cross-spawn scout, which I do not think is going to happen. Should be coming across to his opponent's base second. Nexus drop now for Jedi 1. Probably going to send out that probe scout as well. We'll see if either player can get inside each other's base. There's even... Uh, depends on... So the, the one thing for here is this does give potential informational advantage. Oh, we are going to see a cross-spawn scout. From Jedi One, so he is going to be able to sneak in the base. No, he's just checking the middle of the map for a proxy. One disadvantage here is, is with this SCV is certainly going to be able to scout that natural expansion, find that Nexus build. Whereas there's not going to be eyes to really confirm what's going on on Tucson interior to this one base. Only a single SCV on gas, so it looks like it is going to be one factory machine shop into expand. SCV also going... This is kind of an unfortunate scouting pattern for Tucson. So Tucson going bottom left and then switching up to go cross spawn so he's going to end up with the latest scout possible. Shouldn't cost him too much because I think he's just going about his build order at this stage of things. Free Marine's going to be able to push this probe back but not before it has eyes on that natural and notices that there's not yet a command center there. Probes being manored to the corner there. Cybernetic score, and it looks like there is... So that first zealot out, is there a second zealot that's wandering out in field? Yeah, so that second zealot actually might be able to get into the main and cause some disruption there, as these three marines are pushing and chasing with this SCV. So the zealot, at the very least, is going to be able to push in. A single vulture has been produced. The Vulture with Micro usually beats that, but this is disrupting Tucson's natural expansion. The three Marines returning to home base. Because everything has been confirmed. Another, actually even a bonus SCV, so Jedi One getting some nice... Getting the deets. And actually able to slow down that command center considerably early. So Jedi One with a much earlier first Nexus. At the very least, able to get some scouting information otherwise, but Tucson wanting to push this. So I think what he's hoping here, and this actually might end up paying off, is, is that Jedi One gets caught right here like this with the high ground misfire, that he's able to run into this Dragoon, wipe it out rapidly. B wanted to get a Dragoon kill there to try to even things up, but now actually pulling SEVs off the line so wants to try to equalize things economically with a quick Marine push. It's very aggressive play. 
think this is kind of an impromptu thing. Shield battery being dropped. I don't even know that it's needed, though. Because I think Tucson should have sufficient troops to go ahead and defend this. SCVs, however, are mixing it up with the Dragoons and the Probes. Vultures wiped out. Two Marines left. And it looks like these SCVs are going to get wiped out as well. Shield battery is up. So at least that 100 mineral is forced. But Tucson losing a lot of mining time, losing a lot of SCVs. And Jedi 1 now in firm control. 28 probes to 18, now 19 SCVs. And honestly, he can get aggressive with the Dragoons on the front. Bunker is going to be built. Looks like he skipped range to go ahead and get that robotics facility first. But yeah, that was kind of a ill-advised attack. I think he was just hoping to catch Tucson off guard or maybe playing even Gateway Light. Jedi 1 realizing, actually, that's I like that play. He's like, okay, I know you're in a situation where you really can't attack into me. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a quick third. However, Vulture is wandering out here. Are the pylons going to be down in time to go ahead and defend this? Doesn't matter because this Vulture isn't going to be able to take down that Nexus before the Dragoons might be able to wander up and actually, ah, uh, it's camping out. That's unfortunate. Wandering out and camping the two locations where the Nexus isn't. A mine being dropped at the 12 o'clock location. There as well. It's a while before that Observer is going to be out. So, Pylon Maul blocking that Vulture in now. But I don't think he's going to be able to take out that Nexus. A single mine in the way. Some Dragoons moving across. One of them... Oh, are they going to... Okay, one shot is there. Also, mine in the middle. So now let's see if there's a canceled pylon from Jedi 1. Yeah, okay. Canceling with the one pylon in between. Still has to be very, very careful walking into these mines. I don't know why I decided to sing that note. But the next is going to come online, but a bit of disruption happening, nevertheless. Natural expansion now up for Tucson. Has equalized the worker count with all of this disruption. Machine shop still sitting on a single factory behind all of this. And the Vultures, at the very least, with all this harassment, with all the mines, are keeping probes from saturating this third base. So, kind of with a, the turnaround, with some fun Vulture play, and some mines just continuing to decimate these Dragoons, Tucson able to equalize things. So yeah, a third base is up, but it's kind of delayed saturation. Still going to give Jedi 1 the overall lead here. He's up in supply where he wants to be. He's got that third base now. He's going to be able to transfer probes to go ahead and get it saturated as well. And Tucson's still sitting on a single factory. Also, Reaver and Shuttle are going to be out shortly to go ahead and harass. Tucson grabbing a third base. This is going to be very difficult to hold. Especially considering this is a... Honestly, this feels extremely risky to me. This is a very risky play. Yes, you saw your opponent grab that third base, but you have a very dismal siege tank count. There's a single siege tank to try to defend three bases, and there's a Reaver coming. Two additional factories being plopped down. The turret coverage is somewhat negligible. I guess Tucson feeling, well, I'm behind. I got to take risks to get back into this. Armory working on weapons one. Tucson hanging out with the two siege tanks and marines to try to respond to any sort of attack. Actually dropping a bunker there, it looks like, as well, might be necessary. Mine's going to be able to potentially see the shuttle and the zealot incoming. But again, even with just two siege tanks, that's going to be very challenging to deal with. And are we going to see shuttle speed on top of it? Shuttle speed's not yet there. Don't know that it's necessary. There are turrets to the north. However, this is an exposed third. Yeah, free reaver shots to go ahead and disrupt this. So the third is up. Siege tanks now moving in. Speed. Yeah, I gotta wait for speed before we can really start assailing that front, but it looks like Tucson's gonna pull it off. So the three siege tanks completely emptying the defense at the natural expansion because the Dragoons are not in a forward position to really be aggressive. Tucson with a skeleton crew of a defense force able to push Jedi 1 back. Jedi 1 now moving up with the Dragoons. The shuttle making it all the way back to home base to scoop up that second Reaver. 
And I think Jetty won. Yeah. Okay, that's only three siege tanks. Let's go ahead and maybe make some maneuvers. So he might dive into this. That was a very early third. Three machine, so double machine shot to try to increase that siege tank count rapidly. Probe already working to go ahead and grab that fourth. So Jedi One can go potentially assail and threaten. I oh, need to be careful with that observer though. Need it to see those mines. Can potentially assail the three o'clock, although that's a difficult situation to walk down into. Vulture once again gonna be able to wander up and take out that probe. So man, these vultures have been absolutely heroic for Tucson. Jedi One still with the big supply lead. Now he can play Gateway Man. Plus one weapons there as well. However, three bases are up for Tucson. He's tacking on a lot of additional factories. Plus one weapons, I think, is finished. Yeah. Dragoons look like they were able to evict that vult. Well, no, not able to evict the vulture. So that vulture, once again, a little bit of sloppy play here from Jedi One. So even though he has to leave oof, and losing dragoons as well, he's going to lose another dragoon. The story of this is, yeah, just been some of these mines that have been absolutely critical in keeping that Dragoon count down and also slowing Tucson's economy down a bit latently. Jedi One grouping up. Single Wraith out there potentially to deal with that shuttle. Reaver slow pushing from the wall. However, Tucson now with enough siege tanks along that perimeter with that double machine shot follow-up to press the rest of this back. Also has good scouting. That Wraith in that barracks can provide good information. Zealot bombs along that Zealot wall. The Wraith pushing up, able to wipe out that shuttle. Jedi One walking with the rest of his troops. I see how well he micros this. It looks like he does have sufficient Dragoons. Group repair on that bunker. The Reavers are out of position to really punish it. Actually, it looks like the Reavers have been taken out in the meantime. By what? I'm not sure. Dragoon's now on that plateau in between. A single siege tank trying to defend that third. Tucson, I don't think going to be able to hold it. Lifting off, going to try to salvage that command center. So Jedi 1 successfully... Pushing back that third. Dragoon's gonna go ahead and damage it as it's limping away. What's limping in the air equivalently? Fluttering? However, that fourth base has been somewhat slowed down. It looks like Jedi One opting not to bother with that vulture. Just gonna grab his fourth on the low ground. So Jedi One, once again, in firm control. Not a lot of siege tanks left. A dropship out, but... Honestly, I feel like Tucson has to keep those troops at home base to do anything. It would be very risky. Is he going to just move out with the vultures and the dropship? This just feels... He's got two siege tanks. He's dr Of his two siege tanks that he's got on the ground, he's putting in one. So playing very aggressively. From what should be a defensive situation. Vultures continuing to move out. There's also pylons along the way. Potentially to scout this and see this incoming. However, if that dropship can make it out to this 9 o'clock base, this is a pylon wall, which will take a while for Jedi One to scooch through to create a sufficient defense. Looks like he is moving troops to the southern corner. Probe's going to see that dropship. The Vulture's just going to ignore this probe, though. Only one cannon to defend, so this is going to empty the probes here. So Tucson, with the skeleton crew of an attack force... Honestly, stuff that he attacking and forcing Jedi One to defend. Single Zealot wandering through. Looks like it might be able to take out at least a Vulture. But this is allowing Tucson to go ahead and grab his third again. Jedi One also expanding once again to that 12 o'clock location, but nice economic disruption on Tucson. He's kind of playing. This is great play from a deficit. Looks like the Vulture's also able to wander in. They're going to be able to stop that cannon from coming online. Going to force a cleanup operation if... Jedi One wants to take purchase of these bottom left-hand bases. That shuttle's still threatening with that siege tank in the corner. 
which is allowing Tucson once again to saturate this base. And it looks like he's going to go ahead and wander up and potentially set up to take a fourth. So Vulture's being cleared out to the bottom left. Dropship still here in the corner. Looks like a Photon Cannon is going to be there to provide the defense. Despite Tucson's creative antics to go ahead and get himself a fourth base, he's still way behind economically. Way behind in the overall count. Looks like he's popping down a lot of factories to try to equalize things. Does have plus two weapons, plus one armor, so he's got that power spike. But Jedi one near 200 supply. And just all sorts of gateways behind this. So we can play pure big gateway man, and honestly, he can just start attack moving across the map, probably. And not really worry about these three cannons in place about defending that 9 o'clock location. Just use his army to defend everything else. However, mine, mines have been the X factor in this game. So Jedi One needs to make sure he's being diligent clearing these mines with the Zealots leading forward. Vulture checking the upper right-hand corner, just making sure that Jedi One wasn't getting overly aggressive and expanding. Actually, still isn't. Look, he's just setting up to go ahead and grab that left-hand corner. Sweeping around with this attack force. Now he's got to do some... Got two control groups going to sweep into it. Zealot clearing the mines. The observers getting wiped out. But one zealot, two zealots with low health able to get to the high ground. Reinforcements coming in. Jedi went crashing down. I think this is going to turn into a situation where he's still able to wipe out this fourth. Just because he has overwhelming amounts of troops. He's not putting a great defense up, though. Siege tank's gone on the high ground. SCV's coming off the line to try to defend. Costing them their lives. And Jedi one just barreling down, actually getting bonus. Pushing into the third. Now Tucson needs to worry not just about his fourth base getting wiped out, but his third base getting wiped out as well. Jedi One realizing this, now regrouping, pushing with the rest of his Dragoons, just has overwhelming amounts of troops. Reinforcements coming in. Some High Templar are here to drop some Psy Storm at that location, potentially. And Jedi One now exiting to the high ground. So Jedi One able to disrupt, force Tucson back down to three bases. The High Templar getting picked, well, one High Templar getting picked off. The second one now defending behind this. Tucson getting a little bit over, wants to save this. His eyes are big and his brain are small, in, in my opinion, in this situation, because he's pushing into a situation where he needs to worry about his troops. Just being able to have sufficient troops to defend his third. And instead, pushing his siege tanks out where they're somewhat exposed. Tucson with extreme aggression here. But as I say that, it looks like he is going to be able to clear the rest of these troops out. Jedi One refilling that supply rapidly with all of his gateways. Mains mined out, natural expansion. Just about there as well, but it's still going to be three mining bases. Tucson's main and natural expansion also very close to being mined out. And Jedi One still being annoying at this potential third. The Vulture actually, come on Vulture, wandering by. Kind of patrolling here, but not quite enough to, I guess, deal with that probe. So Jedi One establishing some territory in the upper right-hand corner as well. Finally able to dive in. Not going to be long for life, though, because you've got Dragoons pushing forward. More Vultures trying to sweep in and disrupt this, but it's not going to happen. Plus, Tucson again with just very little making a lot happen with it. That dropship now dropping in the bottom left-hand corner, some vultures sweeping to go ahead and reinforce to slow Jedi One's economy down. Jedi One still with the supply lead, however, still with a big base lead, and Tucson just now re-grabbing that high ground to be his fourth base. Keeps, I think I kept saying third, and that's his fourth. It's now two base versus three base, but more coming online, potentially. A few zealots wandering in. That's not going to be sufficient to deal with these vultures. Next is going to be online for Jedi One and shortly. It looks like that vulture was wiped out. 
but Tucson's still finding a way to stay alive in this match. Kakaru is still alive. Oh, it's taking some damage though, just down to five health. Jedi one sweeping in once again. Shuttle gets wiped out, does drop High Templar. High Templar not able to drop Storm. Zealot sweeping through. And this attack, I don't know about this one. No Dragoons to support, and now all of a sudden with that ill-fated attack. Tucson takes the first supply lead of the game. So Tucson, through aggression, moving up, it looks like another dropship, potentially to stop that Nexus from mining the upper right. Between aggression, between playing aggressively, by getting a lot done with very little, has suddenly evened this match up. Still way behind in the bank. But has gotten his fourth base up and running. And it looks like he might be able to push in and attack the upper right. This is once again where I'm looking for Arbiters. Yeah, and Arbiters coming out very, very late. This is 21 minutes. And the first Arbiter going to be produced by Jedi One at this stage. Handful of Dragoons trying to defend everything in the upper right. But there are Vultures and Goliaths, and they have plus three weapons as well. Pushing in. Several Seas Shanks not even bothering to siege. So, shortly, Tucson can wipe out this base and just move in and take it himself. Vulture is once again in patrol in the bottom left now. And Tucson actually hitting 200 supply before Jedi 1. Handful of High Templar. Grouping in some high... Let's see if the shuttle can get something accomplished. Flying right over the lines. There are a lot of turrets there. Zealots dropping. High Templar not able to get out, though. So just two Zealots. It looks like they are going to be able to get some disruption. Tucson actually backing off with the rest of this. Might want to move something in here, because these two Zealots still creating some havoc. Instead, he wants to go ahead and attack the 12 o'clock. The Dragoon's sweeping down with what's left to go ahead and wipe out the siege tanks that were waiting in the bottom right. And Tucson just not even missing a beat. Looks like some Vulture finally clearing out what's left there. Taking up the plateau to wipe out Jedi One's 12 o'clock base. If he wipes this base out, certainly going to be in the lead. Troops sweeping across the middle of the map. Again, running into mines. Tucson backing off, trying to intercept the army. Three siege tanks being left to pick away at that nexus. That looks like that is going to be sufficient. And Jedi One's army in the middle of the map, first of all, outnumbered. But also potentially in a pincer box in situation. Probes coming off the line to defend and maybe get a siege tank kill. This is this is the life of a probe right here. You get a siege tank kill, you get enshrined. We're gonna watch it happen. I know there's an attack happening at three o'clock base. This is what I wanna see though. Yeah, get it probe. Might even get two kills. What a hero. Zealots. And some side storm though, wiping out Tucson, exposing that fourth base. And this is a critical mining base for Tucson. However, there are more reinforcements. Great size storm, though, obliterating those forces to the north. And all of a sudden, Jedi One threw some gorgeous size storms. Able to clear things out. Some zealots even able to walk into the third. However, it is no longer mining. So now Tucson down to a single mining base. Jedi One down to a single mining base. Needs to saturate that upper right-hand corner. Some vultures boxing things out. Dark Templar out in the field someplace there he is going to clear out those vultures to get that low ground natural potentially i the probe actually able to get that kill on two sea shanks before he was wiped out i will remember you probe i'm going to give you a name of some kind demetrius you're now demetrius the probe vulture is able to get some disruption in the upper right hand corner as well Supply counts even. Tucson with some incredible disruption. But 
He's only got one base mining. And Terran units are expensive. Fully saturating it. Sea Shank getting a little bit out of position. Second base being saturated by Jedi One. It looks like he's going to distance mine. Once again, these players playing a long macro game, resulting in potential starvation situations. Jedi One with a little bit more of a sizable bank. He has more holdings, but is having great difficulty getting sort any sort of establishment on it. Six o'clock base. Pylon is cleared. Looks like Tucson wants to go ahead and grab the command center there. Vulture sweeping into the mineral only. Looks like they're going to be able to get the cans down and empty this base of probes, which hurts Jedi One a lot. Again, he's down to this one base. Won't be distance mining now, but every mineral and unit counts now. Arbiter with a nice stasis on that back line of siege tanks. Once again, exposing Tucson's one mining base, his fourth. Tank sieging on the low ground. Comsatting to be able to just spot, but Zealots immediately on top of those siege tanks. And Jedi won now. Able to get three bases up and running suddenly. After some great difficulty attempting to do so. Zealots once again marching out, potentially going to cut off reinforcements. Some vultures trying to sneak through. There is a Dragoon blocking the ramp, but Tucson's attempts at harassment potentially going to cost him his one mining base. Tanks unstasis. Now in the space in between. Tucson's vultures at least drawing some troops back. The Zealots... Still wreaking havoc down here. It looks like the siege tank's going to be cleared out. More troops making their way across and more mines. These mines have just been incredible for Tucson all match. Siege tank's on the low ground just watching SEVs eat disruption fire. What is the word for, what would you call these? Phase? Phase disruptor. Yes. Correct. Watching disruptor fire. Six o'clock base is being built. I don't know if Jedi One can hold it though. He's down to 70 supply at this stage. His SCV count has been greatly thinned. Trying to group prepare his combat. And now some probes that looks like gonna be able to free transfer to the upper right hand corner to get that saturated. Jedi One setting up to grab that Nexus there. Some Goons are going to have trouble with this minefield, though, potentially. Vulture is able to sweep across, but Jedi One not bothering defending his probe line. He just wants to go ahead and dive in to once again take out that 4 o'clock base. Tucson realizing he just doesn't have sufficient troops to defend. Jedi One has too much of an economy established. After a crazy one, going to call GG right there to even things up one game apiece. Now we got a series. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.